What? Magical is here. What? Poggers. Okay, sorry, I, I had to get down my system. But anyway. Um <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah magical uh was my like <laughs> my, my 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 former assistant with these classes um hi arjun what's up bruv what the flip i'm sorry that was loud i'm sorry sorry <laughs> i'm sorry i did not mean to hurt your ears I'm doing good. But yeah, hi everyone. I am Chimroller15 and today we are going to learn all about common um uh 40 the most 40 of the most common acronyms and abbreviations used online. So or in texting, whatever. Um You're not late. Well you are, but you're not, so no I'm kidding. But yeah, let's get started. Let's get started. Yay, magical. Hooray, he's here. Okay. But yeah, he'll be helping me with my class. Anyway, let's go ahead and start with... Um, well, first, let me explain how the class is going to go. Again, I'm going to... Ex uh, mention, you know, explain 40 of the most common uh, abbreviations and acronyms used online. You know, like ROFL, LOL, uh, OMW, and so on and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and uh, cover each one um, separately. So let's start with this one. What does this mean? Yeah, exactly. T-Y. It means thank you. It means thank you. T-Y. Thank you. Exactly. See? You guys got it. I'm sure some of you guys already know, like, at least some of these, but I might as well explain them for everyone. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention, this is going to be a class that's um, meant for uh, intermediate speakers. So... If you're a beginner, well, just try your best to follow along. But anyway. But yeah, TY means thank you. So, so for example, person A says, so, like, it means thank you. So person A, like, for example, they say, I printed your project for you. And then person B says, T-Y. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, it's just shorthand for thank you. So what's this one then? I'm sure you guys can guess, but what's this one? Yeah, exactly. You're welcome. You're welcome. So going off on the... Going off, uh, going off the previous example I had, um, let me just copy that, only for the text, yeah, yeah, people use it while texting or typing on Discord or whatever, so, it's just like, I printed your project for you. T-Y, Y-W. Yeah, exactly. Golden provided a good example here. Yeah, I, I I guess some people have just not, you know, come across it, but I see it used frequently. Not, not, not really frequently, but frequently nonetheless. Oh, yeah. That's also what I'm going to cover in a moment. Which, N-P... Which means what? What does NP mean? Someone already said it, but yeah, exactly. No problem. No problem. 
so it, it's which is a variation of you're welcome but it, it means basically the same thing as you're welcome oh thank you so much oh no problem so you could say NP instead of YW oh ISTG we'll cover that later oh well Asheville technically said it now so yeah it means I swear to God I swear to God but anyway Oh, look at you using all these abbreviations. I say more YW, IDKY, LMAO. Look at you flexing over here. Stop flexing. Just stop. Stop it. Stop flexing. But anyway, let's go to our next one. Oh yeah, yeah, Magical also pointed out another thing here. Uh, TY can be TYSM or TYVM. So thank you so much or thank you very much. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Okay, so what does this mean? Yeah, for real. Yeah, FR means for real. It bas it's basically used when you when you agree strongly with someone. Like when somebody says, Cyberpunk 2077 was a bad game. You just say FR, for real. So, yeah. It's used when you want to... When, when it's basically like saying, what, facts? Or as some people like to spell... Facts, <laughs> right? <laughs> of course, uh, facts is technically a different word, but people do. But people do spell facts like facts, just as they spell hacks like hacks. <laughs> oh, I meant to edit that. Hang on. Uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, no one says AFC, but people do say AFK, which I'll get to in a moment. Um, so, let's just, but yeah. Okay. How often is real used sarcastically? I don't think it's used sarcastically at all. I can't think of a context where it would be. Or maybe I'm j or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Oh yeah, and F f FR as in for real can also be used as a question. So, it can basically mean seriously. So, when somebody says, "Oh, I got straight A's on all my final exams." And somebody says, for real? FR? It, it, you can use it like that too. Okay. So, there was one more thing. Oh, right. I should probably write down sus because that is going to come up quite a bit. Because of a certain game that has pretty much died out by <laughs> by, <laughs> by now. Uh, but anyway. Okay. Um, where was I? Okay, so. BTW. What does this mean? Oh, crap. Yeah, by the way. By the way. Yeah, that's what it means to Shiro. TBH is to be honest. <sighs> I'm 
I'm just typing an example here. I wash the dishes, mom. Oh, wait, okay. I wash the dishes, mom. Good, thank you. BTW, or by the way, I made your favorite dinner. So, that's an example. By the way, it's just used to, it's just used to um, add information. Like just, like you're just, um, it's used to mention extra information. So, yeah. Is though an abbreviation to yes? I need to put that on my list too. Thank you for because there are there are a few uh, things here that people mentioned that I didn't even put in my list. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't forget that either. Dang, I had to edit my list again. My list is getting too big. It's getting too big. Dang it! Stop it, Astro! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I have to write that one down too. Keep going, Astro. No! <laughs> Yeah, that's another thing I should put out. Uh, yeah, I should point out. Um, I should put cap and no cap. Thank you, Magical. Uh, you're all going too fast for me. Okay, so I know some of you guys are mentioning others. I'll get to those in a moment. Okay, so what does this one mean? I mean, I'm sure you guys can tell. It should be pretty obvious. Yeah, see you. See you, or see you later, really, but... More literally, it's see you. But yeah, see you later. See ya, or whatever. So, that's basically like, goodbye. So when somebody says, um... I'm going to the movies, I'll talk to you later. And someone says, okay, see ya. Dang it, Astro, I'm going to ban you! Okay, but... But, let me see here, hold on. I did put down WTF, but I didn't put down WTH. Let me go and change that. Where is it? There you go. WTH and WTF, and I have LMAO, but I didn't put down LMFAO, surprisingly. I don't know why I didn't, especially since there's a band named after that, a band literally called that, although they're pretty irrelevant nowadays, so yeah, no wonder I forgot about that. Anyway, their name, I mean. Let's see. So, let's, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Okay. B-A-N, Ban Astro now. <laughs> okay. So I'm just adding more things to my list. Oh, I also forgot to put NGL. NGL, oh my god. Ugh. NGL, OMG, SMH. Ugh. Crap, hold on. Okay, I cannot type today. Wow, I'm so slow at typing today. Okay, so. So what does this one mean? OMG. 
oh my god, oh my god, or oh my gosh. Technically either works, but uh, people will more likely say, oh my god. Oh my Allah. Oh my Yahweh. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. But yeah, that's what it means. So when someone says, oh my sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> But yeah, but yeah, like it means, oh my God. So when someone says, oh no, she broke her collarbone, you, you, you probably reply with OMG or something like that. Right, it's basically used to express surprise. So like, or shock. So if someone gets injured or it could, and it doesn't necessarily have to be used in negative context. It could also be used in in a positive manner as well, really. But it's but more likely it's it's used to show surprise towards uh, uh, think bad things that happen. So, but you can use it in a positive manner. You could say, "Oh my God, they actually have the video game in stock." But, yeah. Anyway. Let's see. Oh, let me put IKR. I can't believe I didn't even put that down. Okay. Uh, let's see. And I need to put down this one as well. Okay. Cool. Okay, so, and as someone else pointed out, you can actually say OMFG, which, and I forgot to mention, there's going to be some minor swearing here, but I will keep it to a minimum. But yeah, OMFG means, oh my freaking God, or oh my fucking God. So, you can, you can put the F word in there, and, um, make it, and, and intensify the, um, word. So yeah, OMFG means so yeah, that's what OMFG means. So it's a variation of OMG. Oh, I got, I can't believe I forgot FYI too. Okay, let me put that down. Okay. So now let's talk about this one. If you don't know what this one means, well, yeah, I don't know how, but you should. <laughs> no, but what's this? Sus. What does that stand for? Sus. That's so sus. Suspicious. Suspicious. You. Banhammer. No, but yeah, sus. Yeah, and it comes from a game called Among Us. But yeah, it's yeah, it's it's shorthand for saying sus, sus. That's so sus. It's like you got a you got a straight A. I mean, you got you got an, you got an A plus without studying. That's sus. Or it could be that I've just been paying attention in class. No, 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 no. I call hacks. I call hacks. That's sus. Sus really came from Among Us? Yes, yes it did. People use it all the time there. All the time. Which makes sense because, you know, you have a limited... Usually you have a limited amount of time to discuss... Uh, uh, who you think the imposter is. And, you know, writing in shorthand helps a lot in that regard. Oh, I can't believe I forgot GG. Okay, but anyway, let's keep it going. So what does T, what does this mean? T-H-O. Though. Yeah, exactly, though. It's just shorthand for though. So, 
Although, no, it's just though. It's just though. So, so when somebody says something like, Yeah, I have BRB on the list, don't worry. So when somebody's playing a video game and they say something like, that score though, it basically means that, it's it's used in this case to show, um, it, it can be used to flex, to like, to it can you use it to flex or brag in a sense. So it's like, oh, that score though, yo, I, I am killing these. I'm killing these players left and right in this game. Or, or you can also use it to show admiration to, uh, of someone else's ability. So, so um, with somebody like, so if if you're watching somebody else play a game, then you then you could say something like, "Man, that score though, this guy is good." flexing <laughs> every day I'm flexing but anyway um what else did oh I should put yeah I should put NSFW there as well let me just do that NSFW I'll explain that later. Okay, so now I'm sure all of you should know what this means. The comma isn't needed. I know it's not needed. I just put it there because I'm a, I am don't know why. Sometimes I just like to use commas. Comma. Commas are pretty. Yes, yes they are. Yes, they are. Okay, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, so what's the next, so the next one here, what does this mean? And I literally forgot, let me look at my list. Uh, oh yeah, I'm sure all of you know what this means. What does, what, what does noob stand for? Newbie. Yeah, exactly. Newbie. So when you call someone a noob, it means that you're calling them a beginner or a newbie. So, so like, for example, say if, say, <laughs> so say if you're playing, uh, playing a game and then you die a lot and then everyone's like, what a noob. Like, how do you fail that many times? Get good, get good, G I T G U D. Get good, <laughs> which is which is basically get good, obviously. This, but yeah, but yeah, that's what noob means. You sound sassy. I know, I know. I, I'm trying to sound really sassy today. That's a thing? NSFL? Ew. Not safe for life? Gross. When someone is sassy, it means that they are... <laughs> it means that they tend to give... They tend to, like... They tend to backtalk people or, ins or like, straight up insult them. So, like, if somebody... So, like, if... So <laughs> So, if like you're so if like you insult somebody and then they insult you back and with like with a really sharp comeback, you could say that they're sassy. So, yeah, that's sass though. Yeah, see there you go. Frost gets it. Mm 
Mean Girls, right? Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, too many good lines from that movie. I'd, I'd provide some for the second movie, but no one cares about the second movie. It didn't need to exist. Anyway, sorry, I'm, I'm still being too sassy. So, let's go on to the next one. Boo, you whore. <laughs> okay, so... So, what does this one mean? What do you mean? Yeah. W-D-Y-M. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Exactly. So, you use this when you're asked, when you want to ask for more clarification. Like, if you're, someone's explained something to you and you still don't understand. Or if you want them to, like, go into more detail, then you'd say, what do you mean? So, what do you mean? Okay, so let's move on. I'll get to that one in a moment. Uh, and, well, actually, I might as well cover this now. What does NGL mean? Yeah, exactly. Not gonna lie. Or not going to lie, but not gonna lie is, is, um, that's basically, that's, that's the one people use more often. Not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. And it's, it's used when you want to, when you want to be, when, when you're, when you want to say something sincerely, like when you want to be completely honest about something. So. Not gonna lie, this class is so good. Oh, thank you. But let's us move on. Or you could say, not gonna lie, he was really attractive. Or not gonna lie, that dress of hers was smoking. As in really, really pretty. Okay, so let's cover cap and no cap. And Magical technically said it earlier, but I'll go ahead and say it here again. Cap and no cap. What does this mean? What do these mean? Not gonna lie, Chi Man is an amazing teacher. Oh, thank you, Golden. Yeah, lie and no lie. So, yeah, basically, that's what it means. So, so when someone says, so when somebody says something like, so when someone says something like, yo, I got into Harvard, no cap. It's like, what? It's like, it's like I'm not kidding. I'm not lying. I, I really did get into Harvard. It's like, that's so cool. No cap, no lies. You want to express that what you're, that what you're actually saying is the absolute truth. No doubt. Why not hat? Because English. You know, because reasons. I don't know, honestly. Not gonna lie. Uh, what's the difference between this and not gonna lie? Um, not gonna lie is. I say like not gonna lie is. Um, you 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 tend to say it when, <laughs> when, when you when you might actually say something that people. That people would find perhaps a little weird, but. Whereas no cap is just like when you when you want to admit when you want to when you want to say that something's the absolute truth, but like you're not trying to like brag or anything about it. It's just it's like I think that's the I think that's one way to explain it. So so yeah, that's what that's what the difference would be. Like like I see like I see some people saying things like. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. That character in that movie was hot, even though they were an animal. 
And like, not gonna lie, would be used in that context because again, you're potentially saying something weird, but you own it. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah caps more like for statements yeah that's one way to think about it you'd have to like you'd have to like that's the best way I could explain it but anyway What's the formal version of not gonna lie? Well, honestly, yeah, honestly, or to be honest, or whatever. Or I'll be honest, yeah. Okay. So, let's move on to GG. 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 Yeah, it means good game. Oh, thank you for posting that example, Astro. Yeah, but yeah, cat means lying. No cat means uh, you use that for when you're not lying. I bought the new iPhone yesterday. No cap. Yeah, it seems unbelievable, but you're telling the truth. Whereas, yeah, that's a better way to explain it. Thank you. But if, but if you think someone is lying, so like lying, you just say cap. It's like, it's like, I got accepted into all these Ivy Leagues. Nah, it's like, Cap, bitch, you lying. You lying. You lying. You lying. You lying. But anyway. Okay. But yeah, GG means good game. So when somebody says GG, it could be, it could be used in a, it could be used in a taunting manner, or it could be used in a positive manner. So, when you totally destroy an opponent in an online match, and it could be any game, it could be a sports game or a fighting game or whatever, you could say GG as a way to taunt them, or you could say GG as a way to congratulate them from play, for trying their hardest to play. So it depends on the tone and the context. So it's like, GG, I totally owned your butt. Or, GG, you are actually a really good opponent. So it depends. Yeah, and as someone else pointed out, easy means easy. It's shorthand for easy. E, Z, easy. Easy, easy. I always see GG in a taunty manner. I see it used both ways. Like if you play Among Us, it's used it's used both tauntingly and positively. So So yeah. It's like it can be it can be positive or negative. GG. Yeah, context matters. But anyway, but yeah, easy. So when you say easy kill, like for example, that basically means that somebody got killed in a video game way too easily. That's just one example of the use of easy. Easy kill. Or easy win, even. That was easy. Girl, this is not staples. No, I'm kidding. I wish I had that button. That was easy. <laughs> Okay, so let us continue. Oh, I almost forgot this as well. And there are more that I wanted to, there are more that people Com uh, mention oh wait no I have to add that to my list too okay and don't worry like the list that I have here I will post that later so don't worry you all get a chance to learn your uh, acronyms and abbreviations so that you can actually sound like you're a native speaker 
because who doesn't want to sound like a native speaker? But of course, that should not be your main folk. That your main goal. Your main goal should just be learning, learning how to communicate in the language, even if you don't sound perfect. Okay. Um. So magical technically said it uh, just now, but what does this mean? Oh, you have to go. Okay, bye, Wendy. Look at you, Golden. <laughs> using, using um acronyms in response to what other people have said. But yeah, OFC means of course, as in certainly, or that goes without saying, or yes even. So like, so like it can mean a number, of course it can mean a number of things depending on the context, but it's basically an affirmative answer. So you could say something like, um, like someone, if someone asks you, can you help me uh, can you help me water the plants, or whatever? And they'd say, OFC, of course. Which is basically yes. Now, of course, of, uh, of course can mean, <laughs> can mean several things, but yeah, it's basically an affirmative answer. Person A, can I use your bathroom? Person B, of course, sure. Yeah, exactly. Okay, um, yeah, we're going to go through these pretty quickly, but anyway, let me go to this one. What does this mean? Now, if you spent time on Reddit and Discord, you should know what this means, but if you don't, that's okay. What does this mean? NSFW. Not safe for work. Yeah, exactly. It means not safe for work. And this is used to refer to things that are potentially suggestive or explicit. So, like basically anything that's could be considered adult material. So that's what it that's what it means. Basically, uh, things that aren't child friendly, or even family friendly in general. So, yeah. So yeah, like if you if you spent if you spent time on Reddit, you'll see certain posts that uh, contain uh, uh, text or drawings that are potentially suggestive or explicit. Like in that sense, you you that they, they would be tagged with a certain uh, with a certain label, NSFW. So that way, people who 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 look up who look at the title of that post know. Okay, this is. This is potentially adult material, so I will. So, like, if they don't want to look at it, they don't have to. Like, it's, it's basically just a warning, you know. Like, it feels it's like it's kind of like a rating for movie, uh, for movies or for video games. It's like that. So, yeah. I don't even know what A I T A means, and I use Reddit all the time. I've, I think I've seen that before, but I cannot remember. I cannot remember what it means. Where am I from? Take a guess. Like what I'm from the US, but take a guess as to what state I'm from. Mars. <laughs> Chicago. No, but I can see why you'd think that. You can guess, yeah, magical, you can guess. Oh, that's what it means. Okay, thank you, hack. Oh yeah, okay, see, yeah. I knew about the whole am I the asshole thing. Yeah, that's a thing on Reddit, but I, I completely forgot that it, it had an acronym. Yeah, I'm from Texas. I do, I'm from Texas, but I don't have a particularly strong Southern accent. Like, it's barely there, if at all. So, I sound like someone from the, uh, from the Midwest. Like, like some, someone from like the middle states. I don't really sound like someone from the southern states for the most part. So I, I'm not surprised that some people thought I was from, uh, uh, from say like Illinois or whatever. But anyway. But some people over here in Texas have really strong southern accents. 
So it depends. Like, there's a spectrum of accents here in the South. You could have basically almost no Southern accent, if any, or you could have a really thick one. But anyway. Oh, I like... Oh, the, the yeah, accents in Alabama are pretty nice. Pretty nice. But anyway, um, let me go ahead and go to the next uh, thing we next thing on this list. Okay, so someone mentioned this a while ago, but anyway. Sweet home Alabama! <laughs> no, but if you don't know what that means, well, I don't want to explain it. Just, just go and look it up. <laughs> but anyway. What does FYI mean? It means incessant. <laughs> yeah, it means for your information. The Scottish accent. Oh, I like it. It's very nice. It sounds angry, even. I just love how angry it sounds. To me, anyway. To me, it sounds angry, but in a nice way. I just love it. But yeah, it means for your info, for your information, whatever. As in, you use this when you want to um, mention something to someone. Like, something that they might not know. Um, it could be used in a neutral, it can be used in a neutral way, or it could be used even in a way that makes you sound annoyed. Like, for your information, I wasn't late by three hours, I was late by two. Now, granted, that doesn't really help your case much, but you get the idea. <laughs> but, but it can be used in a neutral way. Like, for example, for your information, um, we follow these procedures here. So, be sure to read over these whenever you get the chance. <laughs> so, yeah, it can be used in a neutral way or in a negative way. So, anyway. Why are you late anyways? <laughs> it's like, because I follow my own clock. Which is busted. Yeah. My ua is kaput. Sad face. My clock is busted. But anyway. Um, no, see, FYI, it depends. It, like, you can, like, it, it can be neutral, or you could use it in a way that makes you sound annoyed. So, context matters. Context matters. Remember, everyone, context matters. Did I sound angry when I spoke to you? Yes! No, no, I'm kidding. Sorry if I'm speaking too quickly. I'm trying to speak in, like, at an intermediate level. So if, I, if I'm speaking too quickly, please let me know. When I get excited, I tend to speak really quickly. And my mouth cannot keep up because my mind wants to go from one topic to another. So I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean to sound like Eminem or Busta Rhymes or Twista. Anyway, uh, let's see. Where, where was I? Oh, yeah. Let's go to this one. Your fault. You tainted countless souls. <laughs> it's perfect. Thank you. You didn't sound angry. You sounded poggers. <laughs> what? Poggers? We'll get to what poggers means later. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> Poggers, Pog Champ. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's fun here. I'm glad you're having fun. Okay. So, what does this one mean? ISTG. Oh, you learned Poggers because of me? Cool. No, Pog means play of the game, not player of the game. But I'll get to that later. Yeah, ISTG means I swear to God. 
I swear to God. You use that to express frustration or annoyance. Like, for example, I swear to God, if you, if you ping me one more time, I will block you. You're annoying. <laughs> but <laughs> hopefully that never happens to any of you. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, you use it when you want to express that you're really annoyed or frustrated. <laughs> I sweat too greatly. A lot. Some people do. And there's a name for that condition. I believe it's hyperhidrosis. But yeah, not not fun to have. My brother actually has it. It's but it's very very mild with him. I've seen people have a very severe, very severe, a very severe case of it, and I'm just like, oof. But anyway. I swear to God, if you tell me something that's not interesting, I will jump out of the window. Well, there you go. The glass is right there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's true. ISTG can also be used... It can also be used, like, when you want to, like, really... Here. Uh, when you want to say... Yeah, when you want to say that you truly mean something, that's, that's true. It could also mean that. So you could say something like, I swear to God, I didn't take the purse. It was someone else. So yeah, you could use it like that too. I'll get to KEKW later. How do you tell the difference between L and I? Capital I? Context. That's, that's, on, that's the only way to do it. Context usually makes it pretty obvious. Ben jumped off that wall last week, I swear to god. Oh my god! I swear to god I'm gonna punch you! It's like, oh, okay, hurtful. We'll get to legit later, but thank you for telling me about that word because... Because that is definitely the word I should cover here. No, the gonna and wanna aren't vulgar. The word you're looking for is informal, not vulgar. Two two different things, trust me. Something can be informal without being vulgar. But anyway, uh now this one's pretty easy. What does this mean? IDK. I don't know. No, it literally means I don't know. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like, what does IDK mean? I don't know. Well, well, does anyone else here know? No, no, it literally means I don't know. Oh, oh, okay, okay, my bad, my bad. <laughs> it's like, IDK, what does that mean? I don't know. You're useless. No, it means I don't know. Oh. <laughs> no, I do know. But you just said you don't know. No, I mean, I know what I don't know means. It means I don't know. Well, I know that you don't know- No, shut up! That's not what I mean! No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, but anyway. But yeah, it means I don't know. So when somebody asks you, what time is it? I don't know. I don't have my phone. Why don't you have your phone? Because I broke it. Why'd you break it? Because I threw it off the roof. Why'd you do that? Because I wanted to see if it would survive. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, yeah. You could even say... Are its abbreviations technically slang? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. It depends on the context. But anyway, you could even say IDFK, which means I don't freaking know or I don't fucking know. So I can mean either of these. IDFK. And again, you use the F word there to really emphasize that you don't know something. So you could be, so you could use it to say, like, it doesn't necessarily have to make you sound angry. Like somebody could say something like, why do we even have to do all this homework? And then somebody could, could reply with, I don't even fucking know. Um, so in that case, it's it's just used to ex it's just used to express that you just simply do not know about something. 
and you're just emphasizing that. But it can also be used in an a with an angry tone. Like it can be used in it can be used with an angry tone as well. So like when somebody says, "Hey, do you know the answer to all the answers to all these questions?" I don't fucking know. Why are you asking me? Do your own damn work. It's something like that. But anyway. <laughs> But, yeah. Let us continue. So, what else is here? Oh. Now, somebody already mentioned this one, but let's cover it anyway. IKR. I know, right? Yeah, that's what it means. I know, right? When you, you use that when you want to agree with somebody, basically. So like when you say so when someone says something like, Man, that song was great. I know, right? Or man, that hockey team was that hockey team just scored left and right. They were amazing. I know, right? <laughs> wow, really? I know, left. <laughs> When I'm gossiping with my friends, did you see her dress yesterday? It was so bad. I know, right? Clearly the girl needs to go a size up. And <laughs> I'm sorry, that sounds really mean. But anyway, um, let's just, <laughs> let's go on to the next one. Uh, let's see. Oh, now this one's pretty easy. IDC. I don't care. Well, forget you then! Forget you! No, I'm kidding. Yeah, it means I don't care. <laughs> it's like, I don't care. IDC means I don't care. Or you can even say IDEC, which means I don't even care. You can even say that. But yeah, both mean that you just aren't interested in something or couldn't care less for something or whatever. Yeah, you can even say IDFC as well, which means I don't freaking care, I don't fucking care. That works too. So, yeah. But, but, yeah. You just use that when you want to, like, like when you want to, um, just show that you just don't have any interest in anything that someone is saying or telling you. So, for example, I got, I got perfect grades, and I got perfect grades in my class. IDC. I don't care. I don't care. Good for you. I don't care. No one cares. <laughs> What's the difference between I know and I know, right? Uh, they're similar in meaning. The second one just... The second one, like, makes... Has a... Like, the second one, um... Well, actually, no. No, actually, no. Hold on. They, they actually mean slightly different things. I know... IK just means I know. It doesn't necessarily have to be a sense of I know, right? It could mean that. Or it could just mean that, you know, someone's telling you something. You're just like, yeah, I know this already. It can mean that, too. Whereas, I know, right, is just... You just use that when you want to agree with someone. Did anyone ask? <laughs> oh my god, that's a cool... <laughs> but, it's like roasted. It's like, did anyone ask? <laughs> it's like, did anyone ask? <laughs> but, but yeah. You get the idea. And yeah, Magical also explained it here. Yeah, I know just means you... It just implies that you know something. I know, right? It just means... You use that when you want to agree with someone. But yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, for I don't know, you could even say I don't even know, which would be I-D-E-K. I, I almost forgot about that. I-D-E-K can mean... I don't even know. Yeah, so you can have I don't even know and I don't even care. 
or I don't fucking care, or I don't freaking care. So that works. Let's see. Okay, so let's go on to the pro what's probably the most common. The mo oh, if you can't hear anything, leave the class stage, like l exit the audience, and then join the class's stage again. But um, now this one's probably the most common one you'll see online. Oh, they can't hear anything and you explain to them what to do on voice. <laughs> Stop roasting me! Stop it! No, but yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> but here, let me just type it. Let me just type what I said here. If you can't hear anything, leave the stage and rejoin it. Someone's feeling sassy today, right? Banger. We'll get to that later. See, I'm just focusing on abbreviations now. Slang terms I'd had to, general slang terms like that I'd have to focus on later or in another class. But yeah, we have quite a number of abbreviations to get to, so let's do that. I feel excited and grateful for being in another one of Chi Man's classes. Puck! But what does this mean? I'm sure you all know what it means, but I will ask it anyway. LOL. Well, besides League of Legends. <laughs> yeah, it can mean League of Legends in certain contexts, but more often than not, it means laugh out loud. Or laughing out loud, I should say. Laughing out loud. So when you find something funny, you just say LOL. She broke her leg, LOL. No, I'm kidding. Don't do not do that. Don't, don't do that. No, but, um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you want to express that, you, that you're laughing about something, you would just say LOL. Chi Man got roasted, lol. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> it's like, that guy was such a bad singer last night, lol. <laughs> and there are variations of lol as well. So, some people will type lol. Lol. Some people type that. Or even this, lol. Lol and lol, with an E and with a U. A U. And there's also keck. Keck. <laughs> keck. And if you're wondering where that... Or even, yeah, K-E-K-W. That too. So if you're wondering where uh, keck comes from, uh, there's, a, there's a bit of history behind this. Um, it involved, uh, it came, it originated from the, uh, I believe the Korean language because like there's a way they say ha ha in English, like there's a counterpart to that, but I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyway, um, yeah, that's where it came from. So yeah, kek. So you can say kek or kek w, kek. So yeah, they they all basically mean LOL. So don't so yeah, LOL, LEL, LUL, Keck, Keck W. They're all just laughing out loud. Oh crap! I just erased my crap. Let me just delete that. Okay, try this again. So yeah, you use all of these when you want to express that something's funny. 
Oh, BC, I should cover that. But I will cover that in a bit. And you know what, let me just, actually no, let me cover that in a bit. Uh, I could just cover it now, that's fine. So what does BC mean? Oh my god, I keep erasing my thing. Ah! Stop it! Because I, I, I don't press control fast enough. Okay, sorry. So, what does BC mean? Before Christ. <laughs> oh, but you'd have to use cap. You'd have to use capital letters for that, I believe. <laughs> but yeah, it means because. Because. Because yeah, because. Because. It's like, why do I have detention? Because. What? But that, that doesn't explain anything. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, BC just means because. That's really it. Not much I can say about that. Because. Because reasons. It's like, why? Because of reasons. Because, because of reasons. Or as some people would say, because reasons, with the of omitted. Because reasons. Mommy, why are you cheating on Daddy? Because reasons. Oh, okay. Okay. But anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, my examples are just very dark. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Keck. <laughs> Keck. T-Man is starting to project again. <laughs> It's like, gee, man, do we? Do you, uh, is is something wrong? Are you okay? It's like I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. No, no, I'm okay. Really, I am. <laughs> Reasonable. Have a great day. <laughs> right? It's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> Frost is like, let me, let me just hug you. Gee, man, isn't a ruler. No, I'm not. I'm as thin as a ruler, though. Does that count? But anyway, you are crazy. You cray cray. You cray cray. What does cray cray mean, by the way? What is cray? What does cray mean? Cray. Cray. Crazy. Yeah, it means crazy. So when, so when you call someone cray online, cray cray, even, like it just means that they're crazy. This girl is cray cray. She is cray cray. You're cray. <laughs> She's a crayon. A crayfish. A crayfish. Oh yeah, don't thank you for reminding me. I should cover AF as well. AF. What does AF mean? Yeah, it means as fuck. So when you say someone is crazy AF, it means they're crazy as fuck. You're crazy as fuck. So it's just used to emphasize something or intensify something. Or it could be it could be even used it could be used in a negative way or a positive way. So if you want to say something positive with that, you could say it's like, man, this concert is awesome as fuck. You could say that. So, it could be, so it can be, it can intensify anything, really. That's, that's the thing. The F word is just very, it's very ubiquitous. Like, it, it, you can use it for a number of things, really. But I'm not going to get into that. Although, I'm thinking about making a video on my channel that covers the, that word. Because there are just so many different uses for it. It's, it's, it's like an all-purpose word, basically. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> amazing fireworks. Say that again, teacher, the AF example. Wait, which one? Because I used three. But yeah, um, like you could call someone that you could call, but yeah, again, AF can be both positive and negative. 
So if you want to insult someone, you could say, man, you're stupid as fuck. Of course, that's not a very nice thing to say, so be careful with how you use that, but yeah, you could say that. I'll cover ILY in a moment. I have that on my list, although I don't like that one. It's kind of cringe in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. Okay, let's cover, let's cover this. What does this mean? Yeah, it means rolling on floor laughing, or rolling on the floor laughing. It's it's basically it's it's basically the same thing as LOL, but this one's more intense. Like when you're rolling on the floor laughing, that implies that you're laughing pretty hard, because. She, if you were laughing, like, if you weren't laughing very hard, you probably wouldn't be rolling on the floor. So this one's just a, a more intense version of LOL. Raffle. You can even, yeah, you can say that's one word as well. Raffle. R-O-F-L. Raffle. Or as some people say, raffle copter. And I'm just like, no, don't. Stop. Just stop. <laughs> Magical here already said it nice. No, I know. I just like I just want to cover it later. For the young people we say LMFAL usually. Yeah, that's true. Like Raffle is kind of going out of use from what I've noticed. If although it was more common back then. So people tend to say LMFAO, which or LMAO. So what does LMAO mean? What does LMAO mean? What does that mean? LMAO. Laughing my ass off. Yeah, exactly. Laughing my ass off. Again, another more intense version of LOL. And you can even say LMFAO, which means laughing my freaking or fucking ass off. So you could say that too. Or laughing my arse off. That, that technically works as well. But you know, I'm American, so... Yeah. <laughs> Rafflecopter. Yeah, LMAO is used more often than RFL. And some people even pronounce LMAO as one word. LMAO. LMAO. But that's cringe in my opinion. Don't don't do that in real life, please. Don't do that. LMAO. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, that's that's basically. Oh, and you can actually surprisingly you can actually combine R O F L and L M A O. So you could have R O F L M A O, <laughs> which means <laughs> yeah, you can actually combine the two. And I'm just like, why? <laughs> but you can. RFLMAO. <laughs> I'm not even going to pronounce it as one word, though. What is that? Ruffle Mao? Ruffle Mao? No. But yeah, that's, that's, just, that's just extra, in my opinion. That's just extra. Extra, as in overkill or too much. <laughs> it's cringe. It is cringe, yeah. <laughs> it's cringe. It's cringy. <laughs> And if you don't know what the word cringe uh, means, or cringy, or cringeworthy, or whatever, it just, when you cringe, you physically, or internally, recoil when someone says something awkward, or embarrassing, or lame, or whatever. Like, if somebody makes a bad joke, you, you tend to cringe. What about that airline food, huh? Yeah, that's cringe. Anyway. <laughs> Cringe. Dies from cringe. Hopefully no one has ever died from cringe. I should probably explain legit too. Legit, as in real, or this is the real thing. So that's what legit would mean. So when you say, it could also actually mean awesome in a sense. I should point that out too. So you could say something like, yeah, legit can mean real, or it can mean awesome. So, for example, when you say, oh man, this soundtrack is legit, 
That means that's awesome. Why? Because English is stupid. But but yeah, like yeah, that that's what it that's what it would mean. Maybe they bent so much that they damaged the spinal cord and died. Oh my god! <laughs> well, you never know. Like, I wonder if someone can, like, cringe so hard that they snap their spine. Who knows? It's just like... It's like they, they literally... They literally bend over and cringe. It's like... It's just like... Oh no. But, anyway. But, yeah. Legit, yeah, legit can mean legitimate, or it can mean awesome. People use it when they want to, when they want to say like, "Oh man, this soundtrack is just awesome," or "Man, this game is awesome," or "Man, this person is awesome." She's like, "Man, this guy's legit, man." But yeah, but yeah, that's that's what cringe means, and that's what legit means. Legitimately means like. Like, when you use that when you want to say that something is real. Like, this is legitimately a good game. As in, it is really or actually a good game. It just means actually. And that's basically what it means. In a sense. In a sense, it can mean actually. So, yeah. Okay, let's us move on to the next word. SMH. What does SMH mean? Yeah, shake my head or shaking my head. SMH. This guy failed all his exams. SMH. SMH. Like, dude, the study guy literally told you the answers to these exams and you still failed. SMH. SMH. Slowly murdering homies. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Super mild headache. <laughs> yeah, it, it basically means what a shame. That's a good way of thinking about it. Yeah. SMH. This guy, this guy, this guy thought that two times zero equals two. SMH. That actually did happen to me once in an exam. <laughs> like, I was like... <laughs> I was like um <laughs> doing the I was like doing the times tables exams, you know those multiplication tables, and for some reason I, I put two I put two times zero equals two. Like it, it was a time zero it was a time zero table and I put two at one point and I was like OMG <laughs> That was a, that was just that was just a fail, a huge fail on my part. So yeah, that was embarrassing because everyone else got that uh, all the answers right and I didn't. <laughs> it was like I wasn't thinking. <laughs> Face palm, right? <laughs> SMH. Face palm. And you round your exam paper, SMH. <laughs> but but hey, I aced all the other uh, times t times uh, table exams all the way up to twelve. And I was one of the few who actually got that one right. The 12. The times 12. So, finger snap. I just messed up on the very first one. Because, yeah, I, I'm a klutz like that. Anyway. Let us continue. I already, we already covered NGL, so I'm not going to go into that one. Ooh, let's do FML. What's FML? What's FML? Yeah, it means fuck my life. It's it's it, it's like you use it when you want to express your annoyance with something or frustration with something. Like for example, oh, I failed all my final exams. FML. Now I'm gonna have to go to summer school. You know, like that. You know, basically it's it's like when you want to express your frustration at something bad that happened to you. FML. Ugh. My cat. Well, it's like, my cat scratched me and I'm bleeding. FML. My dog pooped all over my yard. FML. But 
but yeah. That's what FML means. Fuck my life. Okay, now this one's pretty... This one's pretty easy. I'm sure you guys know this one. If you spent time on Reddit, you, you'll know this one. Or really in any online forum, you know what this means. TLDR or TLDR. What does that mean? Too long, didn't read. Yeah, exactly. Too long, didn't read. So you use this when you want to be sassy. Like if somebody types up something that's too long for you to read, like a post or a comment or whatever, and you're just like, TLDR. Teal dear, too long. I didn't read it. Too long, didn't read. Now, it can be used in a rude manner like that, or it could be used in a positive sense. Like, for example, some people who actually type long posts will know that not everyone's going to want to read all of it. So, them, I mean. So, um, they'll put a, they'll put something called a teal dear, which is basically a summary or whatever, at the bottom for people who just want to who don't who, who just want to like get to the point so teal deer isn't necessarily rude it can be used in a positive or neutral sense classy if you use a semicolon semicolon in the middle right because i'm classy like that i'm classy i'm classy you could put a semicolon or you could put a comma or you can even just, I don't even, you can, I think you could just take out the punctuation mark entirely as well, uh, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Teal deer. <laughs> yeah, right. Teal deer sounds like teal deer. And there was actually a YouTube channel by that name. Teal deer. But anyway, but I don't think he's active anymore. Um... Don't use Urban Dictionary, that's cheating. But Urban Dictionary is the best! Eh, well, sort of. Oh yeah, that's actually the next one I'm going to talk about. TTYL. TTYL. Talk to you later. When you want to say goodbye to someone. Basically. TTYL. Oh, my plane's here. Um, my plane's, I mean, my plane's about to board. TTYL. Okay, see you later. Yeah, it's similar to see ya. Very similar. Yeah, and in the same and in the sense, you could also say this as well. GTG, gotta go. It works the same way. GTG, gotta go. Or even gotta go, as in that. So it works very similar, very similarly to TTYL. Gotta go. Yeah, or you can even say G2G, but GTG is far more common. So, yeah. So it's like, oh, shoot, my bus is here. GTG. Okay, man. See ya. So, yeah. That is what that one means. Um, oh. Oh. Does anyone know what this one means? Oh, thank you, Magical. Thank you very much. I'll look at that in a moment. So what does this one mean? OMW. What does that mean? Yeah, exactly. Good job, guys. Yeah, it means on my way. It means on my way. So... So, so, so if someone says something like, hey man, where are you? We're about to stream in a moment. And so you could reply with, OMW, on my way. So it just means like, it, it just means I'm coming. That's basically what it means. I'm coming. On my way. I'm on my way. I'm coming. I'll be right back.
Sorry, my mom called me for a moment. Let me drink some of my water. A bar of water. A bar of water. H2O. Dihydrogen oxide or monoxide. What, however you say it. I can't chemistry today. Okay. So, what does this mean? Oops. Oh, I know magical. I, I saw it, don't worry. So what does this one mean? Aw. Never mind. Yeah, it means never mind. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. You just when you want to dismiss something that you just said, that you know, uh, that you're asking about. So when you say something like, so when you say something like, um, it's like, oh, uh, do you know, do you know the, do you know if like, do you know if the, um, do you know if the teacher, uh, do you know if the teacher like gave an extension to the homework? It's like no, I don't think so. Why do you ask? Uh, it's because yeah, never mind. Like you just you just, you just want to dismiss whatever you're talking about, basically. Eh, never mind. Or yeah, it could be used. It could be used in a in a negative way as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's like so you could say oh, never mind. It's like, hey, can you go to the store and get us some milk? It's like, and then somebody's like, oh, I would, but, you know, I'm just kind of busy playing this game, and I, I'm in a comfortable position, I don't want to lose it. Oh, never mind, I'll do it myself. You could use it like that as well. <laughs> yeah, or you could use it if someone just doesn't understand what you said, and you just don't feel like explaining it further. Just, never mind. It's like, what do you mean? Oh, never mind. It's not important. It's such an actor. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I try to, like, act out these examples. Instead of just reading them in a monotone voice, because that'd be boring. It's like when your girlfriend is mad at you. We need to talk about something. Um, okay, go on. Uh, you know what? Never mind. And then turns off her phone. It's like goes offline. Oh, okay. Good, good talk. Good talk. <laughs> oh, I forgot about ATM. Thank you. Thank you for mentioning that. What does ATM mean? And no, I'm not talking about the machine. No, I'm not. I'm not talking about that. Yeah, at the moment. <laughs> at the moment. He's not here, ATM. He's not here at the moment. So yeah, ATM means at the moment. There's not much more I can say about it. ASAP? Yeah, I should cover ASAP. What does ASAP mean? As soon as possible. Exactly. As soon as possible. So, right away. Or as soon as possible. Or pronto or right now like just it, it, when you use ASAP you want you want something to be done quickly as quickly as it can be as it, as it can be done like just like you want it done fast please get this to me ASAP okay as the latest ever <laughs> RSVP, uh, probably not worth mentioning. Like, there are some abbreviations that are used particularly in businesses, like RSVP, so I don't think that's, this is just more about the abbreviations that you'll find online, like, you know, in 
in and you know in informal settings. But yeah, there are plenty of business and formal abbreviations as well, like RSVP or there was another one. I there are others I can think of, but I can't remember what they are. But yeah, RSVP is definitely one of them. Oh, and if we include abbreviations, then memo is technically another. Uh, well, it's it's a ten, it's a word, but it's a short it's a shorthand for it's shorthand for a memorandum, which is which is kind of like an email, kind of not exactly, but kind of. But anyway. S'il vous plaît, non, 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 non. But anyway, let us move on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cover, well, that's not really relevant to the class, so I can't really answer that question, bunnies. But anyway. Sorry. Yeah, try to keep your questions relevant to the class. Okay, so what do these two mean? TBH and TBF. Might as well cover both. Yeah, to be honest and yeah, to be honest and to be fair. Exactly, yeah. So TBH means to be honest, TBF means to be fair. I, to be frank as well, yeah, you could... Well, actually, no, no. Because that would because frank in this case means honest, so no. TBF would just mean to be fair. Who's frank? I don't know, God. <laughs> no, but I get, I get what you mean. Who's Frank? It's like, to be Frank, who's Frank? No, no, I mean, Frank is an honest. Oh, okay. As in, like, no, I mean, Frank is an honest and direct. Oh, okay, okay. But, frankly, my dear, I don't want to be Frank. I want to be Susie. Uh, well, we all can't have what we want. <laughs> it's like, FR, for real. <laughs> Susie sucks. It's like, I'm not going to take that out of context because that would be NSFW. But anyway. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but yeah. TBH is like, to be honest. So you use it when you want to speak candidly or earnestly about something. You just want to be honest and open. You want to be frank. So TBH, that hair, that that color, that that color just doesn't suit you. I'm sorry, that hair color doesn't suit you. TBH, how dare you? I like this hair color. Yeah, well, not everyone does. In fact, most don't. Or you could say, now as for TB TBF, you could say TBF. Like if somebody says, like somebody says, he yelled at me. And then you could say TBF, you did, you were you you did show up like thirty minutes late, and he had a meeting to go to. <laughs> so it's kind of like that. So it's like to be fair, as in when you want to when you want to um, point out something that when you want to like be fair by pointing out like by trying to see both sides of the situation of a situation, basically. And you want to point out something that someone else should know that would, you know, give them better, more perspective. Like they might be looking at something wrong. And you would say, well, to be fair, like ba that's basically what to be fair means. So it's kind of like playing devil's ad advocate, basically. Like to be fair, it's like to be fair, she got mad at you because you broke, you broke her lamp. HRW. I mean HRU. I said HRW. <laughs> HRU. Yeah, I should cover that as well. What does HRU mean? What does HRU mean? 
How are you? Yeah, see, there you go. How are you? How am I? How am I? I'm good. Oh, okay. But yeah, HRW means how are you? Oh yeah, you're right. I should cover those, shouldn't I? So what does... So what does WBU mean? Yeah, what about you? What about you? And what does HBU mean? Yeah, how about you? Yeah, and they're both similar in meaning. Not exactly the same, but they're similar. So someone says, how are you? Oh, I'm doing good. How are you? I mean, or what about you? Or how about you? Like you could say either there and you, the person would reply with, I'm doing good too. Or I'm doing well, I should say, but grammar. Anyway. How about you? Yeah. How about you would... Yeah, it would, yeah, how about you, like, about, but with the A in about removed. Hold up. Yeah, so, let me type those up right now, because I, I went through those pretty quickly. So, HRW means, how are you? HBU means, how about you? And WBU means, what about you? Note, how about you and what about you are used as questions to see how the other person is doing. You can't use them like this. How about you just shut up? Uh, yeah, I'd say that's, that's fine. Like, yeah, because, I mean, you technically could, but you, but people wouldn't. So it's like you could, but you, but you normally wouldn't. So yeah, like, how about you and what about you? They're, they're, they're really used to ask questions. I mean, it would make sense if you used them like, how about you just shut up, but that's not really what they're used for. So, I guess, I can, so I'm just going to say that it's not wrong to use them like that, but it certainly isn't what people would do, if that makes sense. Yeah, exactly, you would just use how about you in its full form. So yeah, the, those two HBW, I'm sorry, HBU and WBU, they're not meant to be used like that. So, so yeah, like, yeah, so again, just, just use them like that. Don't use them as part of a, as, you know, in other contexts, because it just would not see, it just wouldn't look right or sound right. Anyway. Yeah, HBU is meant to be used positively. You're absolutely right, Denix app. Okay, what was I doing? Oh yeah, now this one. Ooh, I'm sure everyone knows what this means. And this is actually used, oh well, before we do that, someone also mentioned something. What does IRL mean? Someone mentioned this earlier. What does this mean? IRL, in real life, yeah, in real life. As in, in reality. So not in fiction or fantasy or whatever, in reality. Actually met, actually met the celebrity in real life. That's so cool. And not in my dreams. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm kidding. But anyway. Um, that's like, that sounds sus. No cap for real? For real, man, for real. No cap. But anyway, let us continue. Okay, now this one's pretty this one's pretty obvious. What does this one mean? Cap? It's not a cap! But yeah, what does TGIF mean? And again, people do say this in real life, so you can say it online or in real life. 
Yeah, exactly. Thank God it's Friday. And yes, we all know that Katy Perry has a song called TGIF, and it's a great song. It's a banger. As in, and by banger, I mean it's a really good song. But yeah, this is something that people do say. Oh, and yeah, now, now that I think about it, Shrek, in, in the very first movie, Shrek himself says this as well. Um, I believe it's, no, no, it was the second movie, I'm sorry, not the first, the second movie. Because he was, like, infiltrating the fairy godmother's facility. But, anyway, um, so, yeah, people do say this. TGIF, thank God it's Friday. Oh yeah, yeah, there's a restaurant named that as well. Yeah, I forgot. I've never been to it though. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot about IDGAF. Can someone explain what that means? File transfer protocols FTP. Yeah, that's true. But again, that's a business abbreviation, so we're not going to worry about that. Yeah, IDGAF means I don't give a fuck, or I don't give an, you know, just an F, whatever. It's expensive as fuck, LMAO. Damn. Well, I'm not going there then. Anyway. Yeah, exactly. It's just <laughs> Olaf. It's like, I don't give a fuck. That's basically what it means. So yeah, you use it when you want to emphasize, it's like, I don't care, but even stronger. It's very, very strong, so be careful with how you use this. Oh, uh, of course, you can use it in a lighthearted manner, technically, but it's, it's basically a stronger version of I don't care. <laughs> it's like, it's like, my dog died, IDGAF. <laughs> No, don't don't ever do that. Please don't. That's just really mean. <laughs> yeah, curse words are generally used to emphasize things. Exactly. Again, the F word it, it can it can emphasize a lot of things. It's just a very versatile word. Yeah, it can also mean thank goodness it's Friday as well. Yeah, some people don't like to use God in that sense, or they don't like. I'm just like guys, whatever. It's just one word, God. But yeah, some people are just you know pissy about that so you, you could just say goodness as well thank goodness it's Friday oh and that reminds me OMG remember how I said it means oh my god it can also mean oh my gosh as well for those who don't want to say the the G word the G word Do people in the U.S. say letters allow, the letters allowed are just in text messages? Uh, I think it's just in text messages. Because most of these people would, if you're talking about uh, the, these abbreviations and acronyms in general, people would, would generally just not say these in real life. Because that would sound cringe. But a few of these they would say. Yeah, some people might say, oh my gosh, because they just, because that, that would just better fit, that would just better fit their personality. It doesn't necessarily have to be, uh, a tab, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be because it's, you know, some, for some people saying the, the G word is taboo, like saying God is like that, it's taboo. No, some people just like to say, oh my gosh, instead. Are you gonna leave? No, Astro, sad face, come back. No, but if you have to leave, see you later. Thank you for coming, Astro. You, you've you been a great help. Bye, Astro. Bye. Skull emoji. Emoji. Speaking of emojis, the emoji movie. We don't talk about that. Even though I just did. But don't talk about it. Anyway, let's continue. But yeah, let's see. What does this mean? AK. Yeah, it should mean... It technically means also known as... Yeah, it's also known as... 
So you use it when you want to specify that somebody has more than one name or more than one identity or whatever. So you could say, so you could say, this man is named, uh, uh, I think that's how you spell his name. This man is named Dwayne Johnson, AKA The Rock, because that's his nickname, The Rock. So, yeah. Just, this this just shows that he has more than one name. T-Man Ruler, a.k.a. the very Pog Teacher. Thank you. I'm Rubik Miner, a.k.a. Magical. Yeah, see? That's another good that's another good use of it. I'm Team Ruler 15, a.k.a. Mr. C. Why did I choose Mr. C? Because I just did. Deal with it. But anyway, no, I'm kidding. Mr. C. Chimera 15. Yes. I'm Frost, aka Redacted. Well, forget you then. How dare you? How dare you? Now we'll never know. I'm Cigana, aka Immaculate Cigana. Yay. It, uh, no, you don't have to use real names before aka. Like you could, you could do it the other way around. You could name, you could, you could mention an alias and then the name that's associated with it. It doesn't matter which way you do it. The point is just to show that there's more than one name you could... That someone could be referred to by more than one name. FAQ. Oh, that's another... Uh, actually, that one's just general. It's not necessarily business. It can also be used in informal settings as well. FAQ means frequently asked questions. But I might as well cover that one as well. FAQ, frequently asked questions. And yeah, if you've if you spent any time on Discord, you, then you know what this means. Frequently asked questions, FAQ. Okay, so let's move on to this one. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that, no. <laughs> but what does this mean? BRB. Yeah, exactly. Be right back. So you use this when you want to, when you have to leave for a moment, and you don't want to just, you, of course you don't want to just leave without telling somebody, that would be rude and confusing. So you would just say, oh, I have to go and use the restroom, BRB. Or I have to get a snack, BRB. So yeah, TYT, take your time. That's a thing? Is that really a thing? Because I've, I've never come across that. And of course, that doesn't mean necessarily mean that it's not real. Like there are just there are just a few there are maybe a few words on this list that you guys might not be a few acronyms and abbreviations. I mean that you guys just might not have come across. But yeah, I G. Oh yeah, I G. I guess I G means I guess. That's right, magical. I G. I guess. I G. I guess. Hey, do you think? Hey, do you think do you think the teachers cheat on her husband? I guess. I, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That's just a really dark example. <laughs> it's like, hey, do you think they'll ever fix the air conditioning system? Uh, I guess. I did hear the man just talking about it earlier. Yeah, it basically means maybe. I guess she's pretty smart. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. You you can also say frickin' instead of freaking or fucking. So it's like, I don't frickin' care. Or friggin' even. You can say friggin'. 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 I don't friggin' care. Or fecking. Yeah, that also works too. <laughs> 
I don't fucking care. <laughs> friggin' chicken nuggets. Say that. Try saying that five times fast. Friggin' chicken nuggets. 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 Oh, wow, I did. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I got too excited there. I, w I was tempted to say something. <laughs> no, if I said if I had said that people would have been mad at me. Oh, let me not just let me just not say that. <laughs> but anyway, um tongue twisters, right? She sells seashells by the seashore. But anyway, What was I doing? Uh, oh, right. So what does RN mean? And no, I don't mean registered nurse. That's something else. And plus you'd have to write that in caps. But what does RN mean? Right now. Yeah, exactly. So you could say something like, I feel so stressed right now. As in at this moment. Uh, it's, it's similar to at this moment. I already covered SMH, which means shaking my head. We need to do it RN. Yeah, we need to do it right now. I feel so stressed right now. We need to do this right now. Stop it right now. DW, I almost forgot. DW. No, I don't mean that really annoying character on the show Arthur. No, I mean something else. DW, don't worry. DW, don't worry. Don't worry, be happy. I think I already covered, by the way, so we're not going to do that one. BTW, by the way. But yeah, DW means don't worry. So use that when you want to, you know prevent somebody from worrying about something or stop them from worrying about something or if you want to tell them that everything will be all right it's like oh no shoot i forgot i forgot to get some groceries oh don't worry i can i can i can handle that on the way back from work AMA. Oh, I forgot what this means, and I use Reddit all the time. That's embarrassing. I literally forgot what this means. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Ask me anything. That's right. Thank you. Yeah, AMA means ask me anything. Oh, what does this one mean? If, you, if you've used Reddit, then you know what this one means. Or, or actually, it could be, it could be this one or this one. Let me add something else. Sorry. I think it's this one. Sorry. Let me just. I think that's actually no. I'm just, the first one probably isn't even a thing. I think it's this one. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Let me change that. So, what does CMV mean? If you if you've used Reddit, then you know what this means. CMV. So what does CMV mean? So if you know what AMA means, what does CMV mean? It means change my view. Like change my mind, basically. Change my view. Change my view. So like there are these posts on Reddit where somebody puts, puts forward a, an opinion that's potentially but not necessarily unpopular. Sometimes it's just pretty neutral or innocent. Um, and and they, they 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 post that there and then look for people who look for opposing viewpoints so that they could uh, not sometimes people do this because they're just being hostile but sometimes people do this because they genuinely want to have an open mind cmv cytomegalovirus <laughs> omg is that is that really an abbreviation for that virus i hope not <laughs> 
It's like, change my mind. It's like, it's like, I think FNAF Security Breach is a good game. Change my mind. No, no, it's a bad game. Financial Freddy Security Breach is a very bad game. But, anyway. Yeah, POV. POV means point of view. But yeah, with the whole, um, with CMV Change My Mind, yeah, more often than not, people post those things on Reddit so that they, peop so that they can, you know, have an open mind a discussion about differing viewpoints so that they can learn more basically because they may be aware that they might not be right but sometimes people do it because they just want to be stubborn and they want to just prove everyone wrong so yeah but anyway you already covered gtg and sia but yeah pov means point of view is this your pov point of view yes and that's actually not that's actually used in that's actually used in English classes as well technically not just in no, that's not even just an online thing but anyway I'll cover GTFO in a moment because I, I have it here but it's towards the bottom of the list okay all right, let me write down Let me write down. Oh my god, caps lock is stupid. Okay. Okay, there we go. So, what is IKR? I know, right? We already covered that, though. Okay, um, okay, so this one, if you've, if you've spent time on Discord, then you likely know what this one is. What does AFK mean? AFK. Yeah, exactly, away from keyboard. And you'll also hear it in Among, you also see this used in Among Us as well. They, people use it there all the time. Basically in any, in any setting where you're going to be typing with people a lot like to just like t texting like or messaging people a lot you're going to you're going to come across this quite a bit and this in, in settings like discord among us away from keyboard is afk so when you say that someone's afk it means that they're not at their computer right now so it's like hey where where's daniel he hasn't been talking in a while he hasn't been talking for quite a while oh uh he's afk he said earlier that he that he needed to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's used in gaming in general, really. Pretty much. So Discord, Among Us, Twitch as well. Though I don't really use Twitch, so I'm just guessing. But um But yeah, like it's used for gaming in general. Okay, so what does this one mean? A-F-A-I-K. What does that one mean? Oh, see you later, uh, Grizzly Bear. Yeah, as far as I know. Yeah, that's correct. As far as I know. As far as I know. So that's just a shorthand for that. As far as I know, basically means to my knowledge or whatever. So it's like, as far as I know, that's against the rules. I'll see you later, grizzly bear. It actually rhymed well. Pork! But yeah, if for those of you who have to go, see you later and thank you for coming. As far as I know, the thief escaped. Damn. Oh, well. We'll catch him next time. Fails another three times. Damn. 
Does as far as I know mean as far as I'm concerned? Uh, hmm, let me think about that. I think, yeah, I think they do mean, I think they do mean the, I think they do mean the same thing. Or, actually, no, I think the second one might mean something slightly different. I don't know, honestly. I feel like this, they can be used interchangeably in some contexts, but not others, but I'm not sure. So, yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess in some contexts they pretty much mean the same thing. But here, actually, hold on one moment. Okay, so as far as I'm concerned, it's more it's more like giving your opinion on something, whereas as far as I know, it doesn't really imply that, like not necessarily, so they so they're not exactly the same thing. But but yeah. I gotta go now guys. Oh okay, see you later, Sigana, Sigana, make me wanna Sigana. It's your birthday tomorrow. Happy early birthday, Astro. Happy early birthday. Yeah, so I should probably point that as well. TBD. Oh, I can't. I can't type today. TBD means to be determined, and TBA means to be announced. So they both basically mean we don't know yet. <laughs> so it's like it, so if you're not sure what time an event starts or what time it will start you could just say TBD or TBA and they would be capitalized too actually but sometimes they're in lowercase whatever but yeah that's but again this is not something that's used exclusively online people might use that in business settings as well TBH means to be honest, but we already covered that. But you probably weren't here when we when we were covering it. Helper, wow. <laughs> okay, uh, let me see. Oh, okay. Let's go on to the next one. I I R C. What does that mean? This one's a bit tricky, but what does this mean? I I R C. Yeah, exactly. It means if I remember correctly, or if I recall correctly, it can mean either one. But yeah, it basically means um, if I recall or remember correctly. So use that to mean something like, it basically means if my memory serves me. That's basically what it means. Or if my memory is right, then, so that's what that would mean in that context. So you could say something like, if I remember correctly, we're supposed to add two teaspoons of sugar to this, to this recipe. So you could say something like that. So you're basically just going from memory, which you acknowledge may not be entirely correct, but, but you know, that's what you remember. Yeah, WIP, and this is again not, this is, you can be used in like, uh, in like business settings as well. It means work in progress. WIP, work in progress.
I'm a work in progress. Good for you? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> We're almost done with this list, actually. We're getting close to the end of it. Okay, uh, are there any others here that... Oh! This was already... This was technically mentioned earlier, but I didn't fully cover it, so... No, I should probably put, like, here, let me edit the title. Like, it was originally 40. I originally had 40 common acronyms and abbreviations, but everyone's contributions made me add far more than that. So, let me just put 40 plus. If I can, how do you freaking fix the, oh, I see how to do it. Okay, um, let me just, okay, yeah. 40 plus, let's do 40 plus. Yeah, 40 plus, yeah. Yeah, let's put that plus in there, which basically means or more. Everyone's contributions, mainly mine, Keck. Oh, I see, I see, I see how you be, I see how you be. I see how you be flexing over here. That flexing, though. But what does IMO mean? What does IMO mean? About that. Magical's like, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, it means in my opinion. And you can even put in I-M-H-O, which means in my humble opinion. Oop, I can't spell opinion today. Wow, okay. But yeah, you could say I-M-O or I-M-H-O. And it means exactly what it means. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. So you could say something like, IMO, I think, I think your, your story would sound better if you moved this part to this section. So, yeah. Did I already say this? Did I already explain it? I don't even know. I don't even remember. But yeah, you could say IMO or IMHO. Anyway. Ooh, now what does this one mean? FTW. Is IMFO a thing? What? Huh. For the win, I guess? Huh, <laughs> look at you go. Yes, that's exactly what it means. For the win. For the win! For the win! For the win! That's what it means. And yeah, Magical is my helper. Yeah, I could hire you as well, Astro. You'd be helpful too. But... But yeah. Um, that's what, F, that's what FTW means. It means for the win. So... Here, hold on one moment. So we, we use for the win when we want to express approval of something or support for something. So like you could say something like, so you could say something like, I'm walking in here with my, with my, with my awesome boots, boots for the win, for the win. So it's like, no, stop, that's cringe. No, but <laughs> but yeah, it's it's you it basically means something along the lines of, oh that's awesome, or whatever. Or a grenade launcher for the win. Even though it's the noob tube. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's what some people call it, the noob tube. <laughs> Call of Duty vibes, right? Uh, Call of Duty, great franchise. For the most part. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> yeah, what you do is like, you just like, you don't really do much other than being, like you help, you help like facilitate or 
moderate the converse the you know discussions chats conversations whatever and you can even pin things so that other people that you know things are brought up in class so that the other people can reference them later so really it, it's it's basically that so you're basically just watching over the chat and pinning messages as you see fit call of duty died off because they got lazy Right? Like, have you seen their latest game, Vanguard? Oof. That game flopped so hard. <laughs> I played it too. Oh my god. It's just... No. <laughs> like, it just flops in so many <laughs> ways. Oh my god. But... But, yeah. Anyway. Is there an age limit to the helper role? Uh... No. I don't think so. I'd rather you be, um, I guess if I were to impose an age limit, it would be 16, at the very least 16, but that's just my, that's just my rule though, because technically, I think it could be like 13 on Discord, that, that would, you, you'd have to be at least 13 if you want to do anything like that, but, like anything like, you know, being a moderator or whatever, but... But yeah, I would just I'm I would say that for me it's, it would just be sixteen. So if you're sixteen, then that's fine. Yeah, the Call of Duty died off because they got lazy and greedy. They forgot what made Call of Duty great. But let me continue. Uh where was I? Oh yeah, I covered for the win, which basically means. Which, when you want to express that, when you want to express that you really approve of something or you think that something's really awesome, like, like, ooh, I move like 4K for the win, cotton 4K, <laughs> and it's just like, no, stop. Okay, so next one is, what is this? Next one is W. Oh, I already covered. Oh yeah, did I already cover these? No, I didn't cover these. Okay, so WTH and WTF. What do both of these mean? Yeah, what the hell, what the, or what the heck. The what the hell is far more common. Or what the F, like what the fuck, yeah, exactly. Or what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Like with two O's. And you use that when you want to express surprise or shock. So, like, let's say that you're playing Grand Theft Auto and a, and a car randomly blows up in front of you. Which has happened to me before, by the way. <laughs> and you'd probably go, WTF? Or WTH? And, but yeah, like you use it to express shock. Or like if somebody randomly slaps you, and you probably, depending on who, <laughs> depending on who your personality, like you you would say WTF or WTH. Well, not in real life, obviously, but in this, but like you'd say that, or you could say, or you just slap them back. I don't know. I don't know how you do it. But anyway, but. Or, like, if somebody says something really, really, like, really objectionable or offensive. Like, like, they, like if somebody says, all girls are good for is, is, like, it, all, the, all that girls are good for is making babies. Or all that men are good for is, is, um, is providing, is providing money for the family. And then, well... People would be like, what the f- what- what- WTF? Yeah, you could even shorten it down to the fuck. TF, or the fuck. Or like... The fuck did you just do? The fuck did you just do? Like, you could do that. Or you can- you even say the hell as well. The hell did you just do? And some people even- Yeah, or the fuck was that? Or you can even say, you can even actually take out the, the word the as well. You can take that out as too. Some people, 
Like, I've even heard somebody say something along the lines of, like, fuck you just say? Instead of, what the fuck did you just say? Like, they just, they just cut out a few words there. Yeah, or, the fuck are you doing? Or, the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, you could say that. So yeah, you can actually omit those words. Oh, and of course, we can't forget about STFU. What does that mean? Yeah, shut the F up, or shut the fuck up. Yeah, exactly. Or some people would probably say, shut the freak up. That works too. Or shut the frick up. <laughs> and basically, it's, it's just like shut up. Or, you know, like, which means, like, it's just a rude way of telling somebody to be quiet. But the F word here just intensifies it. Because again, as someone else pointed out earlier, uh, cuss words often emphasize things. So you could say something like, so when somebody says, so, so when somebody says, your performance, your performance in, in that concert was crap. Shut the fuck up. How dare you? Like you could, like, you could say it like that. <laughs> And of course, there's also GTFO. What does that mean? Yeah, exactly. Get the fuck out, or get the F out, or get the frick out, or whatever. Or get the freak out. So, which basically means... <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just when you want to tell somebody to leave. Like, like you just really, really want someone to leave, and you, you want to be as rude as possible. <laughs> Of course, it could, it could also technically be used in a different sense. So, like, you could use it to express surprise as well. So, it doesn't have to be literal. It could be figurative as well. Like, literally, you could use it like this. So, like, when, so, so when somebody breaks your stuff, you're just like, get the fuck out. How dare you? But you could also use it to express surprise. So, so, um, so if somebody says, I've never, I've never, um, I've never actually gotten a ticket in my life while driving, and, some, and somebody would reply with, Get the fuck out! As in, No way! Or, Get out of here! Or something like, you could actually use it like that as well. As long as the context makes it clear. So it's like, No manches! In Spanish. Kind of like that. But, anyway. Um, yeah. So, GTFO doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, um... Uh, hostile, but it usually is though, <laughs> so be careful with how you use it. Yeah, or you can say something like OMG, GTFO. GTOY. I think that means game of the year. I think that's what it means. Yeah, because I've, see, I've, I've seen that on um, on on video games. GT, GTOY editions. Like, for example, Assassin's Creed, the Batman Arkham series, stuff like that. So yeah, GTOY means Game of the Year. Oh yeah, that's right. GTO, G, GTFO can also mean Get the Fuck Off as well. It can mean that too. So if... So like... It, so like if, if if you're in a fight and <laughs> like and and somebody's like just really like really pinning them like pinning you down you're just like get the fuck off or if somebody's on like or if you're like if somebody's on your um stuff or whatever like say like say they're like climbing on your tree house or whatever you're just like get the fuck off or on your car it's like get the fuck off my car get off my car what are you doing? Why are you on top of my car? Get the fuck off. So it's like that. Now we'll cover XOXO in a moment. Or you can even say get the f GTFO my pr GTFO my property. 
Like, just get, get the fuck off my property. So, get get the fuck out means just leave. Get the fuck off means whatever, that you're physically on something and that someone's telling you to get off. So, it's just, it's just like, get, off, get out and get off, basically. Okay. So... Okay, so this one, someone mentioned this earlier, but I'll cover it here. So what does IOY mean? I'll cover that one later, Magical, the XOXO. Yeah, I love you, yeah. I love you, IOY, I love you. I leave you. <laughs> I loathe you. I loathe you. <laughs> I lick you, <laughs> oh my god, wow. It's like, I love you, I hate you, let's kiss, let's break up, okay. Yeah, y'all have issues. But anyway, I lost you. I loved you and I lost you. It's like, I loved you and I lost you. Becky, soy te perdí. Oh, I'm sad. Estoy muy triste, I'm very sad. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have said te quise. I can't Spanish today. I said te quiso. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't Spanish today. I am so sorry. <laughs> I cannot Spanish. But anyway. Justin Bieber? I forgot he existed. Oh, do you speak Spanish? Un poco. No, I'm kidding. No, I do kind of. Más mas o menos. Dope. I try to be dope. That's nice. Thank you. What languages can you speak? Every single one. No. I know some Spanish, a bit of German, and that's it. And a little bit of Igbo, my heritage language, which I have not learned in a long time. So, but English is really the only language I fully know. So, yeah. The last time I heard about Justin Bieber was when he dropped the, his cover of Despacito. Yeah, and it wasn't even his, it wasn't even a cover. Like, he was just featured in the alternate version. Like, there was an alternate version that had him. And it's not bad, but I prefer the original. I, I like, I like just, I like having just... Daddy Yankee and Luis Fonsi. The, 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 the one with Justin Bieber is okay, but I prefer the original. <laughs> the two languages I fully know are Persian and English. Oh, cool. I wonder... I wonder... Persian. I wonder how... I wonder how... Like... I'm sure it, I'm sure it is, but... Oh, I don't know, honestly. Um, how similar is Persian to Arabic? I, that's what I'm wondering. Are they similar or are they different? Or both? No, they are different. Oh, they're different. Okay. Your first is Spanish. Oh, cool. And you're learning French. French will be easy for you. If you're a Spanish speaker, French won't be very hard for you. It'll just be the pronunciation that'll throw you off. But the grammar is very similar. But anyway. Uh, oh, right. So let's go on to my favorite ones. My favorite, my favorite acronyms. What was the question about Arabic? Oh, I was just wondering how similar it was to Persian. But, but yeah. Let me go ahead and Farsi. I've heard of Farsi, but, but, um, I don't even know. How similar is Farsi to Arabic anyway? But, anyway. What does this mean? Farsi is Persian. Oh. Oh, so they're the same thing? Are they... Are they... 
Oh. Huh. Okay. Arabic is Semitic. Farsi is Indo-European. Oh! I did not know that... See, this shows how much I know about languages. I did not know that Semitic languages weren't Indo-European. Huh. The more you know. They are different. They had... Arabic and Persian have the same letters, but Persian just has four more. There are also some words that are the same, which goes back to when Islam entered Iran and thus Iranian people started using some Arabic words. Also, Persian does equal Farsi. Farsi is how we call, uh, that's, that's what we call our language. Oh, okay. Cool. The more you know. Wow. But what does pog mean? Arabs can't understand it all, though. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> but what does Pog mean? Yeah, Turkish people are not Arabic. Yeah, I don't... Uh, do some people really think that? I'm like, no, they're very different people. And their languages are different. Their languages are different. One's... one's, one's Turkish is, is part of the Turkic family of languages. And Arabic is part of the Semitic family of languages. So, no... They're, they're both very different. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Pog means play of the game. Pog. Play of the game. I guess technically play of the game is as well, but... But yeah. Play of the game. So this came from Twitch. You know, like a lot of memes. And... Um, you use it when you want to express that you're that when you want to show that you're excited about someone doing something in the game, like pulling something off, like like being a level. Like, oh yay, I beat this entire game without dying. Pog! People just say Pog rather than... I mean, Pog, P-O-G, I, I just say Pog. Pog! Isn't play of the game P-O-T-G? Uh, no, people don't put the T in there. Among Us is so pog. That dress is so pog. No, I'm kidding. Don't, don't, don't say that. Unless you're me, then you can say it. <laughs> pog. Pog. But, um. But there's also poggers. Poggers. Oh, so you do put T into P-O-T-G. Oh, okay. That much... Okay, so you could have P-O-G or P-O-T-G. The more you know. But yeah. What poggers? Poggers is not really an abbreviation for anything. It's just... It, it's basically just uh, a longer... Uh, a longer, cringier, more extra version of pog. It's poggers. It's cringe. It's cringe. But yeah, it's it's basically a more intense version of Pog. Because remember remember that clip I played at the beginning of the class? Yeah, let me. What? So yeah. Poggers. <laughs> so yeah, you use it when you want to show that you're really, that you're that you got really excited about something. What? Poggers. Yeah, and Poggers also involves Pepe the Frog, and Pepe the Frog is also involved with Keck, the 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 um the word Keck. Pepe the Frog is involved in quite a number of things, Keck. And Keck is also involved with that, yeah, that that man, that, that Spanish-speaking man. I forgot what his name was. Yeah, like, where he made that really stupid laugh, and it became a meme. Yeah, that. I'm just like, fam, you did not need to laugh that hard. Oh, that's right. What does fam mean? Fam. Family. Yeah, family. Not like your actual family. It could mean that, but it more often just means people you're close to, like your friends or whatever. Like, 
Yeah, kind of like bro in a sense. Okay, what does family mean? I don't know! Nah, but anyway. What does family mean? Um, I would, I, it's like, what was, like, imagine asking that to someone. They're like, well, I don't have one, so I can't really answer that. It's like, oh, shoot. Oh, no. La familia. You probably don't really, you probably really don't know. How dare you! Father and mother, I love you. This guy is funny. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. A family is a group of people, typically either by blood or group, who has raised you. Correct. Mag magical keeps shading me. Stop. Oh, bruh. I should probably cover bruh. What does bruh mean? Or bruh. What does, what does bruh mean? Yeah, bro or brother or whatever. And you, you might even hear bruv as well. Although people say that in real life. And mainly in the UK. But yeah. Bruh. 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 As in brother. So... People, people tend to say bruh. Um, oh, you, oh, family really does stand for that? What the heck? Where did you learn that? But, um, but yeah, people use bruh when they want to express disbelief. So, so it's like, so I'm trying to think of an example. It's just like, why doesn't this toaster work? Bruh. You forgot to plug it in. Oh. <laughs> so it's like that. Yeah, it's like a sigh, basically. <laughs> it's like, bruh, really? Really? It's like, yeah, it's kind of like SMH. <laughs> Which, yeah, is shake my head. Bruh, really? And bro can be used like that as well, but bro also has all other meanings as well. It can mean, like, you could use that, you could call your friends that, or whatever. So. Or your brother, obviously. Bro has multiple meanings, but. But bruh is, 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 it has one meaning and it means to, and it basically means shaking my head. <laughs> that, yeah, it basically means, are you serious? <laughs> shaking my head, my head. Okay, I think that's. The sass, OMG, right? Magical, banhammer. Oh yeah, one more thing. Edenbruch. <laughs> so what does this mean? PLS. And no, I don't mean the company that does Western Union, no. Yeah, P PLS, yeah, it means please. Yeah, please. Please. Yeah, it means please. That that's that's all I can say about it. It means please. It's like can you send this to me? Please. Can you send this to me please? Sure. Yeah, and some people even typed it like this. Please, PLZ. Sometimes people type it like that. So you could say please or please. PLS or PLZ. Now, what does this mean? What does OP mean? Oh, I should probably... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, that's actually not a good question because it can mean multiple things. It can mean either overpowered or 
it can mean original post or original poster. So on Reddit, it means, depending on the context, it, it often means OP as an original poster or original post. Whereas in other contexts, in gaming circles particularly, it can mean overpowered. So, and of course, in, and of course, in like, in official, in like, in say it's like, um, in like detective work, OP can mean op, like as in, uh, uh, as in like operation or uh, whatever, and, and in medical fields as well, like it, OP has multiple meanings really, but, but yeah. In this case, it, in this, but yeah, like, one meaning for it is overpowered. Overpowered. Let me just cover the multiple meanings. So OP can be overpowered. So when you say something is too OP, please nerf. It's like, now that's really a joke that people use when they want to talk about something that's just too good or too powerful. So, like a character in a fighting game or whatever. It's like, Meta Knight and Super Smash Brothers Brawl is too OP. Please nerf. Please nerf. And to nerf means to make something weaker. It, it, as a, it's, 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 an, it's an attempt to balance. It's an attempt to balance uh, a game. No, not nerf bullets. No, that's something different. <laughs> too OP. Please nerf. Nerf or nothing. But OP can also mean original poster. Yeah, that is most likely where the term comes from. But yeah, there are there are like there there's this company that does make like uh, toys, like Nerf toys or whatever. But yeah, OP can also mean original poster or original posts. So it's like you should add a teal deer to the OP. Mean that you should add a summary to the original post. Or, that's not what the OP meant. He said, he meant this. As in, that's not what the original poster meant. He meant this. So, yeah, OP can mean that too. And then, again, in, in like, in like, diff in certain areas in the workforce, it can mean operation, but that's that's a business use, really. So, like, if you're doing some detective work, or if you're if you're doing surgery on someone, then medical surgery on someone, then you could see it used like that. This hope we we hope that this will be a successful operation. The patient is it, the patient is in the patient is. Ha uh, is going to be completely safe. They are in good hands. Dies. Crap. <laughs> no, no, I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. But anyway. In programming, there's a term no op, which means without operations. Oh, I didn't know that. But. But yeah. Oh, you have to leave? Okay, see you later. Thank you for coming. Good luck with your exams. Good luck. Good luck. Is that a thing? IFYP, I feel your pain. Is that a thing? What? Oh yeah, there yeah there is such a thing as yeah OOP is does mean object oriented programming. That's correct. Where which means that um, which means a focus on classes and objects uh, of those classes. So it's so it's it's more it's it's more based on classes and structures than than just raw code. I don't know how to explain it. Like you'd have, it's. I'm sure someone could provide a better explanation, but yeah, OOP can does stand for that. Do I program? Yeah, somewhat. 
I've had a few programming classes, mainly in C++. I've done a bit of C, but as well as a bit of game maker language in my time. But yeah, I, I, ha I do have pro uh, experience with programming, although I haven't done it in a while, so I'm quite rusty. But yes, I do have experience programming. Oh, you're, software en you're a software engineering student, nice. But yeah, I but yeah, most of most of what I've done is in C plus plus. I've never touched Java or Python or anything like that. I mean, I'd count I'd count my experience with HTML, but that's a scripting language, not a programming language. So, yeah. <laughs> but whatever. <sighs> anyway. No, like. No, no, that game. Well, actually, is that what it is? Well, no, it's just that like there's this this program called Game Maker Studio, and they have what's called GML or Game Maker language, and I learned that. So, but I haven't touched that in a while either. I should get back into coding. I kind of miss it. I just kind of miss it. And I was actually quite good at it. Some well, more often than not, there are times where I just completely f screwed up. But yeah. Yeah, Game Maker is pretty easy. Game Maker language. If you know C++, Game Maker language is it's just an easier version. Especially since you actually don't even need to use semicolons at the end of your statements. But I digress. Um, whereas in C++ and Java, you do. Otherwise, your code will be mad at you. But yeah, you can use C, C, C Sharp. C++, really Java, a lot of things can be used to make games. Bro, your code is so OP, right? No, but, but yeah, I do have some experience with programming. And I want to learn more. Oh, and there's one thing I forgot to mention. Um, Oh yeah, LOL can technically mean lots of love. That's right. But usually it people mean when when people type it they usually mean laugh out loud. So, yeah. But anyway, I forgot. You could also say pog champ. So, it's not just poggers or pog. You can say pog champ as well, which is of course this pog champ. Champ, which is similar to poggers. Again, you use it when you want to express surprise or excitement. Pog champ. Oh no 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 God, not that meme. Ugh, fine. I guess you are my little pog champ. <laughs> oh God, no. Come here, right? Ugh, fine. I guess you are my little pog champ. Come here. Oh god. Cringe! <laughs> Here, let me see if I can find the clip and play it. <laughs> Fine, I guess you are my little pog champ. Come to me. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, fine, I guess you are my little pog champ. It's like you're all my pog champs. I love you all. C eh, I prefer C plus plus. Like, honestly, when you go C plus plus, like I just like it more because I feel like you can do more with it than C. I mean, C is nice, but I, I just like C++. I, I'm just so used to that. When I, like, I did C++ first, and then when I went, up, when I went to C, I was like, ooh. <laughs> I mean, I could still use it. I just, I just preferred C++. <laughs> Especially since in C++, structs have functionality now. So, 
because you know they're like classes but the only difference is the default encapsulation type and if you don't know what that means oh well anyway <laughs> but yeah like I, I'm sorry like I just love C++ I, I can't I can't do C it's just like no uh, that reminds me I actually have a book downstairs in my books in my bookshelf where that actually that's that's actually explains C sharp but I don't I've never used it because <laughs> I, I just never used it because <laughs> but yeah because I just I honestly just prefer C++ I love it do you use C++ to create games uh no no though I'm thinking about doing it at one point Use Scratch. I forgot Scratch existed. <laughs> but. Yeah, C++ is for high performance cross-platforming stuff. It, that's the thing. You can do so much with it. It's, 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 it's high level. It's a very high level programming language. But anyway, I think that's all of the... How many acronyms and abbreviations did I have? Holy crap. I must have added like, I must have doubled my list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. God damn! 80. 80. 80. I doubled my list. I can count. Oh my god, I can math! I can math, everyone! Someone make a beat. <laughs> I can math! I'm counting from my... I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my list, Diane. That's, that's what it... That's what it is. Which I should post... Uh, see, if I post it, I feel like... Yeah, let me see if I can pin it. What's this class about? I see that you are counting. It's it's about um, common acronyms and abbreviations used online. It's about something. I forgot to do that. Oh no! I forgot. I forgot. What is this? S T M H. I mean S M T H. Something. Yeah, exactly. I forgot to include that. Thank you for reminding me, Marty. Something. Something. What does what SMTH mean? Something. Something. It means something. Okay. So if I include that as well as one more I missed, that's 82. It's 82. 82. 82. Oh yeah, you can also use STH as well. That's right. I forgot to mention that. So that's eighty-three. Stop making my list bigger. Rip, rip. Internet slate is not universal, by the way. In German, LOL is used if you didn't expect something or if you were surprised. Oh, I didn't know about that. Mein Gott! But yeah, let me change the title to 80 plus common acronyms and abbreviations used online. Rip. Rip indeed. My, my, my thing is too long now. You know, out of context, that let's let's not go into that territory. But anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, my list is very long. Oh, what does rip mean? I forgot to mention rip. What does rip mean? Someone tell me. What does rip mean? Rip. 
rip or RIP. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yes, as in now, um, now in the not typically. Well, no, not typically. Well, it depends. So, um, the original meaning was like that's what you would see on gravestones, on tombs or tombstones at cemeteries. R.I.P. Rest in peace for people who died, and who were, who were buried. Uh, yeah. So, but it can also be used to refer to. It can also be used to, uh, like, refer to when somebody does something, like, when something bad happens to someone or when somebody makes a big mistake or whatever, or, like, you know, stuff like that. You could say rip. So it's like, oh, no, he lost the entire game. Rip. Rip. So it can be used in a humorous way. Rip. Rip and pepperoni. <laughs> Requiescat in passe. Ripped in pieces. I'm not even sure if I pronounced that Latin phrase correctly. I probably didn't. Oh, you have to go, Frost? Okay, see you later. Thank you for being here. Dead. Oh, I forgot to mention that one. What does this one mean? What does that mean? Dead. Yeah, obviously, right? Dead. Dead. Dead means dead dead and you use this when <laughs> when somebody gets killed like like when somebody gets killed in a in a game or animation or whatever or some or like or <laughs> like like that you know it's like dead dead <laughs> it's like you like you're watching some show and somebody gets sliced in half dead dead Dead. Now, what does this one mean? Wrecked. Wrecked. Get wrecked, right? Or just wrecked. Right? It's just wrecked. Get wrecked. So you could say, get wrecked. Get wrecked, noob. <laughs> I totally pwned you. Pwned. I don't think anyone even says pwned anymore. But pwn is like own. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> so it's kind of like own as in to dominate I know right pwn is so 2000s right but basically means dominate I pwned you but no one really says pwned anymore so <laughs> <laughs> when you're pressing your fr when you are pressing your friend's throat as a joke and he just dies he's like dead oh no <laughs> skull face wrecked wrecked pwned dead let me write this down see i'm just making i'm just making my list even bigger I think I've I think that's all the ones I can think of. But yeah. Pwn means dominate, wrecked means well wrecked, and dead means well dead. Dead. Wrecked. Pwned. You got pwned. You got pwned. Okay, I'll stop saying that. Oh yeah, there's also snack, right? Which is just internet speak for snake. Because memes. Because memes, memes, memes do that. Raffle, raffle copter. Yeah, I covered that one already, but yeah. But yeah, snack is just a more humorous way of, of spelling snake.
Raffle Copter is just like it's just a more intense version of Raffle. Raffle, 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 Raffle Copter, Raffle, Raffle. What's C? I don't know what CR fifteen is. What what is that? What is that? What does that mean? What 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 is this meaning? What 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 is the meaning of that word? Oh, you clever clever man. CR fifteen, Team Roller fifteen. Yep. How do I English? Good question. You read, you listen, and that's it. You read, you listen, you repeat, and that's it. How that's how you English. That's also how you Spanish, how you German, how you French, how you Russian. Everyone can Russian. It just takes time and practice. Oh yeah, and I should also mention this. Someone mentioned this a long time ago, but I forgot to mention it. Your, you are, what does that mean? I'm sure you guys can guess. Yeah, it's just your. As in you are, or while you are E. Yeah, it can mean either of those, but yeah. Your mom. Magical, you are banned. You are banned. No, but. But yeah, that's what it means. Okay, I think that's about all the ones I can think of. That we covered a lot. We covered a lot of common acronyms and abbreviations. So hopefully you all, um, hopefully you all, um, uh, have an easier time communicating with native speakers on the internet. What does WC mean? Water closet, I'm guessing? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> For a long time you thought it was washing center. Oh no! It's like, ooh, here, let me put my clothes in here. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh no. It kind of reminds me of how there was this like one picture online where I saw someone type up something like, why do they make the fountains here so, sh so short? And I'm like, that's not a fountain, that's a bidet. <laughs> it's just like why why are you drinking from it it's it's not fam why just why just why <laughs> but yeah i don't know right <laughs> it's like it's like it's like why do they make these fountains so short those aren't fountains oh oh yeah i mean it's possible but why would you do it? But, bro, I had the same experience when I went to Spain with bidet. It's thankfully bidets. Bidet? Bidet? I don't even know how to pronounce that. I, I can't English. Hold on. Or maybe both pronunciations are possible. Let me consult Google. Google. Siri. I don't have, a, I don't have an iPhone, so I can't use Siri. Siri, will I get married? No. Okay, then. Oh, so I did pronounce correctly. Bidet. Yeah, bidet. 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 But yeah, don't don't drink from those. <laughs> those are not meant to be drunk from. B day, b day, b day. I should learn IPA. Me too. I feel like I could help people learn American English pronunciation, because, but I don't know anything about IPA at all. I, I see a bunch of symbols and letters, and I'm like, what is this? What am I looking at? Oh, that reminds me. Someone just reminded me of this. What does bih mean? Bih. 
B. 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 It's shorthand for a word. It's actually shorthand for a certain word. Yeah, bitch. It's shorthand for bitch. So some people use this in in like instead of bi. In bit instead of bitch, they say bi. She's my new bi. Uh, okay, good for you, I guess. <laughs> yeah, people. Yeah, people do use that word. <laughs> But bruh, as an English speaker as I'm sorry, as an American English speaker, British English kills me when I talk to non native speakers. So apparently in the UK they say at the weekend instead of on the weekend. Right? I'm like, why do they say at the weekend? What is this? Why do they say that? I'll do it at the weekend. What? Why are you saying at instead of on? Because that's how we do it here in the UK. Get used to it. <laughs> but yeah, they do say that. And hell, and like, no joke, like, hell, even in like, <laughs> in like, it kind of reminds me of how some people in the, this, this is strictly in American English. Some people say we're standing in line and others will say we're standing online. And I'm like, online? What? What? People say they, they're they standing online? What? <laughs> they're standing virtually, right? <laughs> now, of course, they, of course, in this context, on and online is like two different, two separate words, but, but it can also be one word, so yeah. <laughs> so it's like, we're standing online. Oh, you're online. Okay, cool. Why are you on a team, but in a group? Right? Like, why do you... Like, why do you uh, stand in a bus but get on a bus? Huh? Huh? I mean, you could technically stand on the bus, but I don't think you'd want to do that for obvious reasons. So, <laughs> yeah, prepositions are stupid. <laughs> they're stupid. I'm sorry, they're just stupid. No wonder people struggle with them because they don't make sense a lot of the time. Or you could stand next to a bus, or even <laughs> beside a bus, or <laughs> like you'd be hanging from a bus. <laughs> oh God! I'd stand on the bus. You'd have to avoid those traffic lights, though. <laughs> you do not want your head to be taken off by those. Now, if you're really short, I guess it wouldn't matter. But if you're like tall, then oof. Someone also pointed out something earlier here. Yeah, I think... Yeah, you could also... Yeah, that's the thing. The word bitch can also be spelled in various ways. So you could say... This could be spelled as... Bi... Or... Bish... You know, like that Katy Perry song. Swish, swish, bish... Another one in the basket! Like that. Or you could say... You could spell it like this. Or even like this. Or even like this. So... Bitch can be bi, bish, bitch, biatch, and biatch. Because English. Yeah. I guess. I don't freaking know. <laughs> C is silent in a sense. Well, actually, in a sense, no. Well, I guess, see, that's the thing, because you could have, you could say sense, sense, or sense. And, and they all have an S sound. Yeah, hold on, guys. Oh, wait, no, I don't think my mom's talking to me. Never mind. I haven't heard someone say bish since 27, 2007, right? Yeah, that's right. In the UK, they do pronounce the H in herb. I believe they do. Or, I don't know. I don't know if it's just a UK thing, though. But, yeah, some people pronounce herb as herb. I pronounce it as herb, but some people pronounce it as herb. Herb. I'm just like, no. Now, you now if someone were named herb, yeah, you'd have to pronounce the H. 
you can't you can't just say herb. Hey, it's herb. Phineas and herb. No, Phineas and Fer well, no, that's Ferb. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, wrong name. Oh my God, Mom. I'll be right back, guys. What is it? Okay, one moment. You're at work trying hard not to laugh. <laughs> wow. Henny is an herb. An herb. But I'll be right back.
Guten Tag. Hallo Leute. Wie geht es euch? But no, I'm back. Anyway. Oh my god, Mom, seriously. I'll be right back. What is it? Okay. Okay, sorry. I'm back. But yeah. Okay, so... Sorry, I had to move my car so that my mom could drive out later. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Did I... Please tell me I was recording. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it would have been a big RIP if I... <laughs> if I hadn't been recording the whole class. But anyway. Um, okay. Let me just go ahead and finish up. Okay, so one more thing I want to point out. What does that? What is what is that? That. What is that? Should be pretty obvious, but yeah, that. That. So you might see something on online that says something like that's like this. OMG, that ass, which means wow, she's got a nice butt. So yeah, that's another use for. <laughs> that that's an, that's another use for um that's one use for that word yeah you could also say true that as well true that true that so that just means that 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 notice how they're pronounced differently d that d th that the see d and the that look, right? <laughs> or you can even pronounce, you can even combine that and though, like that song though, that song though. Yeah, that that's lit, that's legit. That's lit, that's legit, that's awesome. Yeah, lit means awesome in, in this context, like legit. So you could say, man, this party is lit or this party is legit. So, yeah, I think that's all of the acronyms and abbreviations I want to cover. I think those are all the ones I wanted to cover. Here, let me just, oh shoot, shoot, hold on. Let me, thick, I almost forgot about thick, thank you. Thick, well, I, now obviously it means thick, but you know, because this is the internet, people put two C's there to be humorous. So when somebody says, that woman is thick, it means she's curvy, she's busty, she's, she, she's, not, she's, she's not skinny, she's just kind of, she's, she's voluptuous. Not necessarily fat, just voluptuous, you know? She's thick. Now, it could mean she's fat, but not necessarily. It just means that she's got some meat on her bones. 
she's thick. And really, like, you could use this with any character that's not skinny, that's kind of plump. In some areas, anyway, not necessarily all around. So, yeah. But it's... But it's typically... I think it's typically aimed towards... Actually, it's aimed towards pretty much anyone. Anyone or anything that's thick. He protect, but he also attack. Indeed. The plot thickens. <laughs> the plot thickens. I've seen that. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, now those must be those should be all of the things I want to cover. All the well, all the common acronyms and abbreviations that I want to cover. I already covered, though. Um, but... But, yeah. Oh, my God. This was a long class. Like, how many... I think, like, three... Three or so hours? Like, three hours. Three hours, ten minutes? Three hours, twelve minutes. And twenty-six seconds. Dang. Dang. I wonder, can I post this here? Oh, I can, okay. So, let me pin this. Hold on. Okay, good. I just I have just enough uh, characters to to post this. Okay, let's only post that. Oh shoot! What the heck? Oh, dang! I can't I can't post it. Crap. Ah, uh, that's okay. I'll just I'll just link to a Google Docs, and you guys can just look at it yourselves. Yeah, let me just let me just find the share link. Anyone with the link can view. Yes, copy link. Done. Let me just delete that. It's so weird that the word though goes at the end of the phrase. Yeah, because you you'll never see it used at the beginning. Like you'll never see it. So you never hear. You'll never see someone use it in a sentence like "though this has failed." Da da blah 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 blah. Like no, and in, in that case, though would not tho would not be used. So yeah, that's a good point. But anyway, I mean, I guess you could spell though like that if you want to use it at the beginning, but nobody would do that. So anyway, okay, so I will just post that there and I will pin it. So in case you guys ever need a list, then you can just take a look at that. I think I've covered just about all the ones I wanted to do. Okay, well I will go ahead and end class here. So, let me go ahead and stop the recording. <laughs>